Hey everybody, this video has two purposes. The first one is I wanted to personally thank just so many of you who, in a recent video, I asked for those of you who just have gained anything from this channel to let us know in the comments. Oftentimes the comment section on YouTube videos ends up being uh, reasonably negative <laughs> and uh, I was amazed and actually really surprised at um, First of all, the response that I got when I just asked for your feedback and just the just the outpouring of appreciation that I got was incredible. But also, um, I had no idea when I recorded that video just how much that I was going to need that on that day um, when we published the video. So uh, it meant an incredible amount to me, uh, to all of you who took the time um, to respond to those comments. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much. But the other reason is I wanted to share with you something that I discovered just the other day. And I'm a little embarrassed that, that I didn't know about this before. I don't know how long this, this has been out, but it's something that I discovered. I'm working on some projects right now that are different than things that we've normally done here at Income School. So in addition to my project Double Time and our project charity that we are working on uh, and we're laying the groundwork for a bunch of cool stuff, I think that we're gonna be able to make a ton more progress on that one in 2024. But as you can probably understand, my uh, focus right now is squarely on Project Double Time. I have so much work to do between now and the end of the year if I'm gonna come anywhere near close. Um, so I'll give you a little bit more of an update on that, uh, maybe in a short little video, just in the next couple weeks. Doing some cool stuff right now and have some really good ideas, I think, for monetization between now and the end of the year. But I'm also working on some other stuff. Um, I'm working on a project where I'm working with a business owner who is wanting to use content to help grow that business and really to grow a whole new product line. So I'm building him a new website from scratch and we're going to use content, we're going to do podcasts, we're going to do a bunch of stuff and it's going to be really cool. But in addition to that, I also took on uh, kind of in a pro bono way, I took on uh, a nonprofit organization here, um, uh, an orchestra that my wife plays in that... Uh, just needed a little bit of help, rebuilt their website. And they came to me and they said, look, uh, the website is not showing up in Bing. And I said, okay. And I, and I know what the problem was. It's because when I first built the website, I built it um, kind of as a staging site because they had a live website. So I built it and while I was building it on a different temporary domain, I had checked the box to discourage search engines. And what that does is it just puts a little bit of a line in the robots.txt file that says, don't index the content on this website. <laughs> and that's obviously not something we want to leave on, right? So when I first published the website, I didn't turn it off immediately. When I put the correct URL, I pointed it over to the website. I quickly fixed that and it quickly ranked on Google. In fact, basically the same day, Google indexed the site I requested indexing of the homepage, uploaded a sitemap to Google Search Console, and we were good. We were good to go. And when people searched specifically for the name of the organization, it would show up right there at the top, the, the website, the homepage of the website, as well as a bunch of other pages. It was really, really good. But that was a while ago, and Bing was still not showing it. So I, I hadn't checked Bing. I don't really think much about or worry too much about Bing. It's a such a small percentage of the traffic on our websites typically. So I wasn't looking at it specifically because Bing usually ranks our content as well as Google does, oftentimes better and faster. But in this case, it wasn't. So for probably the first time in years, I'm embarrassed to say, I opened up Bing Webmaster Tools. I <laughs> actually I thought it was really ironic because you can log in to Bing Webmaster Tools, just Google Bing Webmaster Tools if you're not using it. You can log in over there using your Google account and it will just port over all of the websites that you already have in Google Search Console. And so that's what it did. It just pulled them all in and I said, yep, I own these. I had to verify a couple of them and it was good to go. And once I got in there, I used their URL inspection tool to search for the homepage of the website and I clicked on it and it tells me right here like, yeah, we found it. We know it exists, but we haven't crawled it. We haven't indexed it because there's some issue blocking it. So I went to click the little live URL, say, hey, go check out the live URL though. Not just what you saw when you looked at it back in June, go look at the live URL and does it look okay to you? And 
there it is. It says it looks fine, right? If anything, it's telling me, yeah, some of the images don't have alt text. Okay, I'll probably fix that one of these days, right? But everything looks fine and it's available to index. So I requested indexing and all that. But then I saw something else and there it is right here. Looks like you're using WordPress, enable index now. I was like, okay, I've heard about this. I know with Google, it was still kind of a feature that wasn't intended for widespread use, but I know on Bing that they were allowing people to use instant indexing. And what an instant index specifically was written by Microsoft in order to allow websites to basically update Bing every time they make a change to a page on their website. And that way they let Bing know, hey, this page needs to be crawled. And then Bing can make sure they use their crawl budget in a smart way and only really worry about crawling those pages that have actually changed. Again, I knew it existed and I was like, okay, cool. Well, let's learn a little bit more. And this is where I found something that I thought was super cool. I saw this little spot over here. It says, do you use Cloudflare? Simply turn on crawler hints and you'll start submitting to index now. You don't need a plugin. You don't even need to do anything else. It's just if you're using Cloudflare, which I do on all of our websites, as a free user, free, totally free, you can um, automatically start just letting Bing at least know and really letting search engines in general know. Uh, that's what Cloudflare says is they will just let the search engines know this page has been updated and that way you can theoretically get your content indexed much faster. So here's how to do that. I go over here to Cloudflare. I just go into one of my websites. I click here on caching, configuration, and scroll down a little bit to where it says crawler hints. It still says it's in beta. So maybe I'm not that far behind here. I check this box or toggle this switch, however you want to say that. That was it. We're done. <laughs> and so now from now on this website, so I just barely did that for cook for folks. Whenever I make a change to any page on the website, it's going to alert the search engines kind of in a behind the scenes way that I've made a change on that page and so it needs to be re-indexed. It's kind of like if every time you made a change on any page on your website, you then immediately went over to Search Console and asked it to re-index uh, re that page, except it's happening in a totally automated way and it's just gonna better help these search engines to make sure that they're not wasting their crawl budget re-crawling and re-indexing pages that haven't changed in a long time. That's my cool extra tip for the day. I hope you found that helpful. And once again, thank you very much uh, for your really kind comments the other day and just for everything you do out there in the world, all the good that you do, the content that you create. Uh, also, if there's other cool things you'd like to know about or have specific questions about, please ask them in the comments. I would love to make more content to help benefit you, but also I am doing a YouTube live on September 22nd, where I'll be answering questions first specifically that came from comments on our YouTube videos, and then I'll also be taking some live questions. So make sure you join me for that as well. I hope to see you there.